Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Marian Mwaura and thank you so much for deciding to stop by. I appreciate you guys so 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 much. Anyway, to my YouTube family or to my gang, thank you so much for your support. Manze, I don't take anything for granted. I appreciate your support so 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 much. So if you're new here, uh and if you're wondering maybe what's the kind of this channel is all about yeah i am median yes i, I do talk about uh, my experience here in saudi arabia i talk about my my life i talk about my lifestyle i talk about uh what else i talk about uh a lot of stuff and i sometimes i do Yani, I can come up with, I do pick, yani, randomly, those random topics, you know. Yeah, so, my channel is a full package, trust me. Tunaingia kwa Saudia, tunaingia raifu ya Saudia, warabu, nini, 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 nini. And then, sometimes, tuna travel, tunaenda kwa jivijari. So, I bet you are on the light track. Before we continue with this video, please guys support me by subscribing if you have not done so. Subscribe. Imagine it's free. Just supporting this girl, man. Subscribe, subscribe, guys. And give that video a thumbs up and let's communicate. Let me hear from you. Let's let's have a conversation. You know, you know, you give uh it's like you put you put as the energy of when uh, maybe we upload some videos and then you go there and support us by even now uh, you know let us hear you are there you know let's hear like i'm talking to someone out there anyway uh it's kind of wednesday in the evening here actually it's it's seven minutes to ten o'clock so i'm supposed to be ready for sleeping and i was like there's something that is really pushing me like i want to speak this i want to talk about this yeah 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 so as you can see we are talking about the pressure in the marriage so today's video we are talking about marriage and then uh, the pressure that we get so today's we'll be talking about the pressure we get be it internal or external you know what i mean Sometimes we give ourselves so much pressure out there, like, especially when you reach your late 20s or when you are approaching your, that is, you know, that is the time you feel like sometimes that is the internal pressure. You feel like, hey, I need to be serious, you know, you know, I need to have somebody. I need, you know, to have someone. And it's normal, you know, it's normal. And sometimes... We get external now that is uh, we get the pressure from our relative from our sisters from our brothers you know let me just give you a brief story when i went to vacation that was last year last year or last year but one last year yeah because i went um i went to vacation last year but one and also i went last year so uh of course, when I went last year, they were like, hiya, yeah, okay, I'm a come tenor, okay. So there is my aunt, <laughs> she talked too much, but I love her so much. Anyway, I don't know whether she'll get pissed off when she gets this video, but I'm just talking it out because it's life, baby, it's life, and we know it. So, when I went there, she was telling me, hey, sasa, negwada to ariena away, in quotes, I want to talk to you, so you don't need to go back there again, you now just need to look for somebody, hey, you now need to settle, you know, and I was like, uh, okay, after settling, okay, you know, after settling, okay, it's not a bad idea, but can you let me be, okay, then I was like, ah, okay, and then I just left, you know, so then I was, uh, I caught myself a meeting and then I was like, now I was pondering to what she said. Then I was like, yeah, this is society. And not just my aunt. I know I have met some people and then they were like, hey, now you need to settle. Nini, nini. I'm on my right 20s, by the way. So, by the way, I did a video how I came here at 20, 21 years, something like that. So, actually, my 20s, yeah, email. let me not put the word waste because I have done something. Inshallah, in future, I will be saying this and this. I have done in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I went to Saudi Arabia and I did this and this. So, I'm proud of that. Even if there is a lot of sacrifice and then there are so many things that I have missed out, but 
you know maji ya kimoika hazo like then that is live and that is what's supposed to be done so anyway <laughs> Uh, I was talking to my mom and then she was like, ah, tigana na ake, so we are used. So I try to imagine how pressure, because I know even some people we talk, you get uh, pressure out there. Pressure is real, by the way. <laughs> and then uh, also ourselves, we do give uh, ourselves so pressure. And then when I'm talking like this, our human being, even me, like, uh, let's say like this year, I was like, now I really need to have somebody because... I'm a single mom, by the way. I have a very handsome boy. So, I was thinking like, ah, it's the right time now to, you know, to look for these people. It's like, uh, not me to look. I don't believe in that. Although there are people who say like, they can uh, approach a guy. But I'm like, uh, I'm not that type of a girl. But uh, I'm, I was like, uh, now, you know what? When now I get this on, I won't be like, I don't want, uh, I would just... Yani, at my age now, I'm like, not like, uh, I think I'm mature now and I know how to handle people now. Unlike when I was on my early 20s, I didn't want, after I was checking even in my inbox, sometimes I go through the people that we have chatted like that. And then I was like, too harsh on them and then for which reason, but it's age, so you don't do anything about that. But now, as the time goes on, that is the time you're like, be cool with them. Say when he say hi, say hi to to him. Although sometimes when Guinea they take that advantage, you know, you you at least now you are mature and then you'll know how to ignore all uh, yeah, when he starts a conversation is the person that you want to, you know, to go ahead and uh, you know have a chat or is a, is it uh this type of a guy that to my chat na he or she. So anyway. So, <laughs> uh, what I was saying is, uh, I was thinking about that pressure about my heart, and then I was like, uh, okay, to get married, actually, there is nothing either like a getting a man. Let me tell you, that's not a job to get a man. It's not a job. The problem is to get the real man. You know what I mean? Like a person that you won't see any regret in the future. No one who is perfect, remember that, but is this guy that you really want. You know, there are those qualities. Well, I'm a woman with my own principles and I believe you too as well and I know you know what you want as well I do, you know? So you are like, is this the person? Now the work comes in when, uh, is this the bright person? Because like me, I'm a single mom, so I don't think about myself. And I have said it this so many, many times. When I get into a relationship, I'm like my ma, my boy. I'm looking like a, yani, a father figure. You understand? Even if the biological father is there, he's, uh, he has his own life. He's there. He's not dead. But because we, we're not together anymore. So the man that will come into my life is like uh, this man. Will he be a father figure to my son? Is he the man that I can all be ashamed, you know? And introducing my son with, you understand? Because kid come first, by the way. If you're not comfortable with my son, even if you are a millionaire, I will just let you go. In peace. In peace. Continue with your life, you know? But if I say like this guy, he has the qualities that I love because now I am Marian and I know really what I want in this world. Okay? So... I know the kind of a man I want. Yeah. And then I have told you guys, like, getting a man, you can get a man. They are out there, but the work and the job. Because you don't want to get into a toxic relationship. You don't want to get into a relationship that within few years or few months, you have packed your luggages. And live. by the way, I don't know, if I know right now, I'll get married and then, the you know, things come out and then I leave. I would stay single until I come out into this world. Let me tell you, I don't want. Now I'm at my age where yani I value respect. You know, of inner peace. You know, those are the things that I look or I check. But anyway, before that light man comes, what are you doing? Don't. I'm here to tell you. Don't pressure yourself so much. 
be, uh, we are trying to look at uh, the pressure that it's there in a piece and uh, uh, external and internal, you know, the pressure. And then what are you doing? What can you do when that pressure comes? So like right now, I have uh, been here for a while and what I'm trying to do is to build my life and my son, okay? And then uh, I'm trying to be an empowered woman, you know what I mean? I empowered have something that you can call you yani you can call yours you understand what I say don't be like come here and then get pleasures or rub and then you feel like ah, ah, ah by the way let me tell you if you're out there and then you feel like so what you see that like you just want to come out from that house and then you want to have your own think twice because don't get into a relationship because of desperation or because they're because of a situation you know don't do that because I have run from my previous relationship and I know what I made, uh, which mistake that I did that time and I wouldn't want to repeat it. Don't yani, be desperate, you understand? Don't let yani, a situation it may happen, it may happen so now you can fall. Because if you are vulnerable, you can get into a toxic relationship. Trust him. Uh, pick up the pieces, yani, build yourself, know what you want as a woman. Okay, know what you want, yani work on it, and the rest leave it to God. That's what I can say. So, the relationship is uh, is uh, is real out there. By the way, me Husema, I don't have a problem of uh, dating a broke man. <laughs> dating a broke man, but I have a problem dating uh, a broke man who is a. Uh, who is like uh who is comfortable in the position he is yani who is comfortable in that ni blockness or whatever kizungu ili kujana mali but simunaelewa so <laughs> me america you know there is a man like you can see you can see he has a potential yani he's a very hard working person eh wako out there i know just a matter i have not met my lawyer but one time that time it's coming so don't worry where you are work on yourself and uh, be happy when that time comes that you feel like you are so pressured that is uh, internal now pressure try to you know, indulge yourself with good stuff like uh, if you're in kenya you can go like to party with the girls like uh, you know, have fun with your friend i'm not saying you go clubbing and everything i'm not that type of girl but what i'm saying is try to keep yourself busy and go there you know, indulge yourself with friends you know uh, you know, uh, try to know your hobbies you know if it's swimming go there swim and you know, have that fun the light time will come but work on yourself first before that light man comes you have to work yourself because let me tell you can i tell you maybe you are out there and you want like a rich man like can I, you want that rich man you know you want that rich man like he has his own house he has his own car you know and maybe you don't have anything can i tell you my sister those people that are rich they date rich girls <laughs> i don't know why I don't know really why, but can you comment down below and let me hear from you? But what I have observed, it's like those rich people, yani, kuna mtu alisema zinaenda nanga, venye zine, yani, they, yani zinaenda nishanga, the way zimelalisha na horns, you know? They understand themselves. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you want a rich man, that's a rich, rich man. Also, work on yourself, my sister. Don't just be there. You just wanted to take the phone and then you wanted to hire someone. I need this, I need this. Also, work on yourself. Be empowered. Try, yani, try to look some work there. Keep yourself busy. Work. Sometimes then you can pay your bills, you know, before that right man comes. Anyway, I can talk, I can talk, I can talk, I can talk. But I think I went up this video. Hopefully you may learn kakitu. Sometimes I feel bored. I feel like I just want to come here and talk to you guys. I feel rich. I feel so happy. Not about validation or anything here in YouTube, by the way. No, 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 no. 
it's just a matter when I speak it out, I feel relieved and I feel like I have done something great. So I don't want my the rest of the years that I will stay in here in Saudi, I want us to be having a conversation. Let's be encouraging each other. Let's see and praying for each other. I pray for you, you pray for me. You know, we keep moving. Let's put our God first. Anyway, thank you so much for deciding to stop by. Yes, now we're penda sana. And don't forget to subscribe, give that video a thumbs up, and share to your friend. Till next time, masarama.